chewing the place to pieces. There's really nothing this base can do now to defend itself. Those Zerglings have just free range to do whatever they want. That base is going down. Well, all of those SCBs are getting absolutely destroyed. You see these ghosts trying to wreak havoc the best they can on that Overseer, and they're going to take him out no problem. Their snipe deals 80 damage to the Overseer because it is a psionic unit. Yeah, it does terrible, terrible damage to the Overseer. You can see the Zerglings are just having a little party right there in the Terran base, just completely trashing the place. And it looks like the Terrans want some payback. Those ghosts are on the move. They're moving out. He's got some Hellions on the move as well. He just wants to try to stay in this game if he possibly can. He's got some cloaked ghosts. They're not a lot of Overseer standing, doesn't look like. And he's closing in on one of the Zerg's key expansions. The Zerg player really needs to keep this base working if he wants to keep his economy going. You can see right now that the Zerg player has a larger army by far than the Terran player, but the Terran player has a lot of cloakers. And so he's able to sort of stay in the game and keep harassing the Zerg player. And it looks like that command center is going to escape. Though I, I don't know how many SCVs it could possibly have saved. The Terran player is in a lot of trouble right now. And we've got all of these cloaked ghosts who are going to be wreaking absolute havoc on this extra Zerg expansion. They're just going to be able to take down the spine crawlers one by one. They're trying to eliminate all of the ground defenses before an Overseer is able to make it over there to be able to see them. Yeah, absolutely. It's really amazing the Terran player is even still in there.